Hey guys, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project, and it is hot already. It has been near 90 degrees every day for a week and a half. Um, at least it's only 36% humidity, so I'm doing way better today. Much, much better out there today. Um, clock is not right, so ignore that. And uh, I guess I'll take you out and show you what I've been up to so far. Actually, after walking out, I realize there's nothing. I can tell you about that I've done today that isn't going to be on other videos. So, I've been doing a lot of other video work today. Let's have a little update on the birdies. The broilers are getting big and lazy. The little white girls are very friendly. They come right up to me all the time. They want some loving. These, these two here. Huh? You're going to prove me wrong on video, aren't you? Huh? No, you can't come out yet. Anyway, usually they'll sit still, but they want to come outside and play. So I'm going to put them in their um, carrier or in their uh, chicken tractor. Now I've got a big feeder in here, full of feed for them, so they can eat all day and all night as much as they want. And uh, I'm going to have to start cleaning this place out some because they're getting bigger. As you can see, they're spreading out and filling this more and more. And I've constantly, constantly cleaning their water dish. So now that they're a little bit bigger, I'm going to be able to put that up on bricks and help reduce the amount of filth they're putting in that. The little birdies, um, did I show you? I don't think I showed you, did I? I put the little birds the very same day I had showed you that they were in a little plastic container. Not long after that, I put them over here. And um, they're very comfortable and happy there. But today is hotter, so they're going to come outside in a shaded area, but where they can get fresh air and uh, grass and bugs. These guys are excited because they think I'm going to take them out. And they're right. Look at them going in there already. They know the routine. They're not dumb. Bunny has lunch prepared for the solar oven, which is going to go out here in a minute. Um, salmon, spinach, onions, carrots, or is it peppers? Peppers. So, she makes up these dishes, and I'll put them up in the, out in a solar cooker. Then we'll have a hot lunch cooked with free energy. And now our food's in the oven. And in a little while, we'll have hot lunch ready to go. So another aspect of off-grid living. Now, this uh, GoSun solar-powered cook stove that we're using... Um, which I am reviewing in a separate video. You'll get the whole complete review later. But since we got this, we are using this extensively and as our primary um, cook stove. So yet another aspect of off-grid off living. We've got the solar panels and now a solar cooker. So we're not using any energy in the house right now at this time as long as the sun is shining like we have now we are running entirely on solar power through on everything but not entirely the only thing we haven't got on solar power is the well pump but that'll be soon so at this time well the well pump isn't running right now so i could say at this moment entirely so uh watch out for the go sun sport review the solar oven uh, in its entirety later but uh, for now just know that we are even cooking off the grid now everybody's out in their cages getting some sun some air and some uh, fresh food and the flies just help provide free food flies are drawn to the chicken poop and the chickens are drawn to the flies works perfect so I gotta get a little bit of shade over them real quick other than that we're good to go here these guys are soon gonna outgrow this though and then next week we've got the third batch of chickens on the way and uh, then we'll really really be serious about getting our our chickens going in this farm got three we'll have three stages of, of meat birds at three different ages and then we'll have other birds on hand that are we'll call meat on feet the birds we're getting next are 
a uh, mixed egg and meat bird. They're not just the uh, broiler. They're a mix so that those can then grow up and be multi-purpose birds. So I'm going to get shade on these real quick and then they can stay out here for a while. Right now our refrigerator, my laptop, and the uh, modem is being powered by these solar panels. I had turned one off to the side earlier to catch the morning rays. Now we don't have a battery backup so anything that's lost is lost. Whatever we're not using is just lost for now. Um, I do hope to get this set up though more properly but for now I am at least during the daytime able to use some solar power by running an extension cord up into the house. Um, that is until I get all the proper grid tie inverters and paperwork and permits and everything else to hook up the house entirely. But then there's still the water pump which is 240 volts and I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that yet. Looks like dinner is almost done. Can you see the steaming? The steam escaping from that right now? Can you see that? That is really cooking well. This is an amazing thing. Well guys, let's see what it looks like. Let's see if I can pull this out one-handed. Be careful because of the escaping steam. Look at that. You can tell it's cooked well. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh, the flies are trying to settle on it. Sorry, I shook the camera. Well, let's take this in here, inside. Oh. Look at that, guys. Now we're going to find out. She had rice in there, so we're going to find out if the rice cooked or not. Melanie, you put in rice, then water, and then vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. This was a total experiment, so we're going to see if this worked out. Look at that, guys. It worked. That worked out well. That was an experiment, and we neither one of us knew if this would work. I told Melanie to do it. The I rice figured is perfect. the rice is perfect. Look at that, guys. I told Melanie to try it. She didn't know if it would cook or not. Um, and to be honest, I would I wasn't sure. But uh, it cooked. It all cooked together. Nothing's overdone. Nothing's underdone. It's pretty impressive. Really cool. It's raining. You never know what the weather's gonna bring these days. Oh, it's drying off as fast as it comes down. I was gonna look on the solar panels, but it doesn't show. I feel it hitting me. I can see it coming down. Little rainstorm passing overhead. Right there especially, it's heavy. That's oh, starting to hit more and more. Oh yeah, right here's a rainstorm is gonna hit us here. Oh well. I'll put things away for a little bit and then we'll get back out. Let me go protect the birds. It was sunny again. This is very confused weather. But I was out in the electronics lab sorting out and straightening out things and unpacking. Still unpacking. Oh, there's another rainstorm in the background. Weird. Oh well. And there goes the thunderstorm. And here is the sun. We have had thunderstorms and sun, then rain and sun, then rain and sun. Looks like it might be the end of it though. Wow, sure is clear now. And hot. Um, been alternating all day. Melanie and I went to a local swimming pool late, uh, earlier. And then we got rained out and we came home. And it just, just now is passing by. It was quite a thunder shower, so that's good. Hopefully, it saturated the garden enough for us that we won't have any trouble later. With Hopefully, we won't have to water the garden at all. But I don't know, that remains to be seen here. The No, look at that. You would never know we just had a thunderstorm. It is really hard to get this ground wet and to keep it wet. Since it's been raining on and off all day, I've been cleaning up a little bit in the electronics lab. I hope it shows some. Uh, neighbor gave me a couple of these 
trays, these, uh, what do you call these, storage um, trays. So I'm starting to put stuff away properly. My biggest issue is I have a lot of stuff and I don't have the, or I did not have enough space to put everything. So I'm working on it. As you can see, I, I got the whole desk cleared off and I'm working on the mess that was over in the shelves. Um, these, by the way, I got from a neighbor. I don't know if I mentioned they're not the other day. And I'm starting to put things in here and sorting stuff out. So it's coming together with time. I condensed these a little bit better, these storage racks up here. And uh, a little bit. Oh, and I sorted my cables finally. They were in the way of my desk, so I put two hooks here and one over here. And now I've got uh, things coming together better. Much better. Out of the way of the table. Now, by the way, I have been uh, mostly cleaning out here during the rain, but I also did a video for the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics channel. And uh, those of you who are interested, go on and check it out. I talked about what exactly is free energy and can you use it. And it's a long 25-27 uh, minute video with, I did some research and had notes on that one. So go on and check it out at the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Um, I've also got some experiments on that channel. People are making suggestions and I am paying attention and I'm going to do an experiment with the Benini motor uh, which will be available on the next day. So go ahead and check that out as well. And um, got a lot going on here. I also have the um, Quanta Q3 running at the absolute lowest current that I've ever had. I was just tweaking stuff and have the absolute lowest input current ever. We're looking at 100 milliamps and less. It's fluttering because one of the um, one of the uh, timing magnets is stronger than others and that's why you get this flutter and that's frustrating. One day I hope to figure out which one it is and swap it out. But anyway, pretty cool to see such a low, low current going into there. They're coming out of there. So I'm going to get back to work and uh, talk to you guys later. In between rainstorms, I'll try to get work done outside, but it's looking bad today.